Hey guys, what's up? Ro here. Stig 2. And we are doing a Halo 3 1v1 while explaining special relativity as defined by Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're going to try and kill each other and then also explain hard physics. Yeah, it's going to be difficult. And also, I've been uh, trash talking Connor for some time. He's supposed to be good at this game, and uh, I used to be good at this game. Yeah, I used to be okay. So we'll see how it goes. One v ones were my thing, um, but I haven't played in a while, so we're gonna see how this goes. And uh, I guess we'll get this started. I'll wait till the game starts until okay. we spawn to start start talking. We should start with frame of reference. Yeah, that's something you need to understand before you can. Really okay, we're starting. I'm my top. I'm top. I'm top screen. Shit. Oh, hold on, my control. Yeah, no, no, me too. <laughs> we changed okay. this before, then we changed profiles. Okay, alright. One sec. Okay, anyway, so we we'll start with frames time. of reference. So, so the biggest thing about frame of reference is like putting yourself in the shoes of, of a person, another, uh, another frame of reference, that doesn't help. Um, it's like if you had a truck going 50 miles an hour and you had a batting or a pitching machine going off the back of it, bitch. and you shoot a a baseball off the back of it going 50 miles an hour. To someone in the truck, it looks like it's going 50 miles an hour the opposite direction, but to someone on the ground, they cancel each other out, like vectors, vector math, and, oh my god, this is so hard. <laughs> I cannot talk. <laughs> and, can't, and, it, and it looks like the baseball just falls to the ground, if that makes sense. It's much easier when you Yeah, so basically see. from your frame of reference on the truck. Oh my god, it's so hard. Um, from your frame of reference on the truck, shit. <laughs> yeah. The ball, if you shoot it forward, will be going 50 miles an hour, but from someone else's frame of reference, it'll be going 100 miles an hour, since the truck is also going 50 miles an hour. All right. Um, so then, if you apply, apply this to light, nothing can go faster than the speed of light. Including speed of light, light. Including light. Nothing ever goes faster than 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Oh my god. <laughs> and, um... Oh, we're tired, aren't we? Yeah. I'm, I'm just not, the score is just not a thing I cannot <laughs> So if you have a rocket ship going, like, let's say 0. 0.9 times the speed of light. Which, for you excellent math geniuses, is 90%. Yeah. And, um, and you shoot a laser beam off the front of your jet in space or something, let's say. Not so, the army you for. <laughs> that's what snipers are for. Well, that's a bubble shield. I did not know we had those. So if you shoot a laser off the, your, um... Oh my god, <laughs> this is not going very well, is it? <laughs> you shoot a laser off the front of your rocket ship or whatever. From your frame of reference in the rocket ship, the light will be yeah. going... The speed even, of light. It'll even look like, though... It'll look like, even though you're going really fast, it'll look like the light just destroys you in a race. But from someone on the ground, it looks like you and... Like, you're... Fuck. you're ju <laughs> it looks... <laughs> it looks like... The light is just barely beating you, like if you were racing. But from your frame, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus God, dude. Yeah, all right. So from your frame of reference, the light is even though you're going ninety percent speed of light, the speed of light will still travel away from you at the speed of light. Which so, so it's like no matter your frame of reference, light is always going the same speed. Yeah, but to somebody else, the speed of light will be I going. I can still do that. Oh jump. my god. Oh my god. Stop yelling me, you whore. I want- I hate you with the sniper, that's fair. That's fair play. Yeah, I need to- yeah, okay, this is just- <laughs> So, but from somebody else's point of view, the speed of li the light will just barely be beating you. It'll- yeah, okay. you'll be going 90% the speed of I light. I think we've gotten- okay. We right. So, then you have that- then you have to start worrying about, like, time. Ah, oh, definitely bitch. almost had you. So, when I explain speed, like, Want to explain, I like, the photon clock? Uh, okay, I don't... <laughs> that's hard to do without hands. Okay. Yeah, no, but that's the point. So, yes. let's say you have a clock. Boom, headshot. You have two mirrors. You have one on the bottom, like, a, a vertical... Oh, you come have on. One on the bottom, suck it. Hold on, hold on, I'm busy. <laughs> so you have one on the bottom, and then you have one on the top. Shit, wow, I suck. Oh my god. Uh. No! Yes! No! <laughs> God damn. Uh, from my phone reference, you're an idiot. <laughs> yeah, that was embarrassing. Alright. So, no, you bitch, don't get that. I will get it. And I will enjoy it. I'm sitting here invisible and then Okay, so, so a light clock is essentially if you had one photon of light. That's uh, In between two perfect mirrors. That's, so it's essentially, uh, a photon is essentially like a particle of light almost. It's not, it doesn't have 
mass per se. It's just a fo okay. It's just a photon if you can yeah. accept that. So it's just bouncing back and forth between these two mirrors, and because the mirrors are perfect, it doesn't lose any speed. So yeah, it's not it's, moving. It's just it's so it's essentially just a clock ticking, but it's with yeah. Every light. time every time the photon hits the uh, one on each one side of the mirror, that'll count. That'll be like a second, let's say. God. Okay, um, yeah, so we'll call it a second, just for... So when it's stationary, it's going time is going, you know, normally, normal, yeah. normal speed. But when you start moving... Really fast, particularly... Even, yeah, no matter what, even it, if you start yeah, normal, moving... But particularly like, getting close to the speed of light, it start. it's like, imagine if you had to, if you had to, a ball bouncing up and down between two walls, and then you started moving... From your frame of reference, it would still look like the ball's moving up and down. Uh, but in reality, it's almost like a parabola, kind of like, because it starts falling due to gravity and then hits it. And then it, it, it looks like it's going straight up and down, but it's really moving along with the walls. So the same thing happens with these light clocks. Oh, wow, I killed you. Yeah. I was, uh, so if you start moving, the whole thing's going to be, oh, you oh, bitch. That would have been so cool. I, I ricocheted it, too. Really? Anyway, so if you start moving, like the whole thing's gonna be moving. The mirrors are moving, the photons move, move, moving. So from an outside frame of reference, the whole thing's gonna keep moving. Like the whole thing is moving, and basically, <laughs> what happens is if this is so, I, I cannot do this without diagrams in my hands. Oh, you're over there. Okay. Oh, I it's so just weird not you. having Bloom. Like to to stray away from our relativity discussion for a minute. It's just weird, like, hey look, I haven't played this in so long. Alright, so, um, if you look at it from an outside of frame of reference when it's moving, the... It's like... Let, no, let's start with, from, a, from your frame of reference, like, in the ship with the clock that's moving. So it's gonna look like it's going straight up and down, just like normal. But actually, if you looked at it from the outside, since the whole thing is moving, the, um, God, I missed that again. Oh, I fell off. Awesome. I love when that. <laughs> Since okay. the whole thing is moving, the the photons actually be going be going to be going diagonally. Like like we were talking about with parabola. So its path, like when you're moving, it looks like it's going the same places, but the time it's taking to get to the two places is extending. So it's still going the speed of light, but since it's going diagonally, that means it's taking longer, and, and that means each second is longer. So since you're moving, time slows down. A little bit, and so, so now that we've gotten that out of the way. So let's theoretic stop. <laughs> theoretically, that, uh, probably didn't even make all that much sense. It, so, it didn't. We didn't explain that well at all. So uh, theoretically, if you were in an airplane for your entire life, going say 500 miles an hour, and you didn't get off this airplane your entire <laughs> your entire life, awesome. Um, you could increase your lifespan by a couple billionths of a second. So. Yeah. <laughs> or if you were going like 0.9 to 0.9 times the speed of light. You'd actually slow down in time enough that okay. You slow down time enough that um you, would you could like go slower. out for fifty years, and to somebody else, to, on on the Earth, it would be five hundred years. However, that doesn't oh increase your lifespan though, because to you, like your whole body is gonna slow down. Just because time slows down doesn't mean your body's still gonna function at the same rate. So to you, you it, it felt like, you know, 50 years. But to somebody else, it was 500. Ah, so close. I was trying to watch your screen, and then I and realized then I was... Ninja me? Yeah I, yeah. I tried to ninja you via your screen, and it didn't work <laughs> at all. By the way, we're tied. I, I'm aware. I see that. Now, who's been practicing Halo? I've not been practicing. You've just been playing every once in a while. That's more practicing than I've been doing. A bit better, why don't you? <laughs> How did you kill me like that? Ah, oh, man. This is a close one. Okay. Well, Alright, so we explain. Alright, okay, now, now, let's talk about tachyons. Okay, well, okay, so so as you... Okay, we need to so keep, basically keep the, covering this. Yeah, the as faster you, you as go. As you get closer to the speed of light, time slows down for you to the point that if you could go the speed of light, time you, would stop. you wouldn't age. So you could go... Because think of it this way. From here to the opposite side of the universe, and you wouldn't have eight, and it would seem instant to you. Yeah. You wouldn't think of it this way: if you go, if you're going exactly the speed of light, the light reflecting off objects that allows you to see is going to be going the same speed as you. So you're going to see the same light at all times. You're going to see the same amount of photons, same color. So everything's going to be stationary. Everything's going to be perfectly still if you're going the speed of light. However, if you could go to faster than the speed of light, which you can't, uh, which we'll get to. <laughs> um, in 10 kills. 
Ah, oh, got me. All right. So if you could go faster than the speed of light, theoretically, you time. you could go back. You could go back in time. Time. And and these theoretical particles, which have never been seen before, or they don't exist. Yeah. They just we don't we we don't know that we just make them it's, up. It's kind of yeah, it's made up for fun. Uh, basically, the idea is that in the instance these particles are created, they're already going faster than the speed of light. The same way that photons are going the speed of light when they're created. Uh, so, so these, what, what are called tachyons, can go back in time. And so then, the thing is, with going back in time, you create paradoxes all over the place. Like, if I said, I'm going to send you a tachyon, uh, you're winning, by the way. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> if, if you said, I'm going to send you a tachyon at 12 o'clock, and when you get it, you send me one back. Uh, and so I get my tachyon from you, and so I, or you, you get your tachyon from me, sorry, and it shows up 10 minutes before I should have sent it. So then you send me yours back. So, in my frame of reference, before I've even sent you anything, I'm getting a new one back at, say, like, 11.40. So it's like, the tachyons have gone back in time, and I could decide that I don't want to actually even send mine to yours, but I've already gotten one from you. So then you've got two different things happening at once, because I've already gotten one from you saying that you've gotten mine, but I never sent mine. Yeah. So it's like you get these, like, I don't want to... It's the same thing as, like, the grandfather paradox. Like, if you go back and you kill... Let's just say you go back in time and you kill yourself. All right? You or your grandpa. You know, or your like grandpa, the actual, or whatever. The actual paradox we're talking about. Yeah, I know, but I'm, <laughs> I like this one. I like this one better. Oh, jeez. Get rid of it. <laughs> anyway, so you go back in time and you kill yourself. Okay, so you're dead. That means you didn't exist to kill yourself. Which means you could. It means you didn't die, and you didn't kill yourself. Which means you're alive. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely timed. Shit, my anyway. friend. <laughs> yeah. Okay, hold on. We're, this is an <laughs> intense fighting. Oh God! How did you get there? Magical jumping skills are magical. Stop doing that. <laughs> I'm stick. What? How did, how did I get no shields there? I hit you with a sniper because I'm a mad sniper. Oh my god, you just drop down in front of me. That was that was. You, do you already have your PR out? I can't do that jump anymore though. I I hit. No, I had my sniper. Oh shoot. No. <laughs> <laughs> I could have turned around to shot you, but that would have been efficient. Yeah, you're just looking at my screen trying to make me miss. <laughs> yeah. I did something that would have made me miss had I been on your screen. How are you? Stop being a bitch. Oh my god, I missed the BR, dude. I hate the DMR so much. <laughs> okay, so we've covered tachyons, now what? Uh... Um, we could go to general relativity instead of special relativity. <laughs> no, I don't even understand that. <laughs> Where are you? I jumped up the map, didn't I? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> One more shot and you would have. Yeah. Um, did we actually completely explain relativity? I don't think so. I don't I think mean, anyone understood. I don't think we could actually cover all of relativity in a matter of a commentary, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um... I'm just trying to think of like what we did in cover. How? Also, if you hadn't noticed our names already, Einstein and Schrodinger. Schrodinger. Yes. <laughs> kind of awesome. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what else do we? I mean, I don't. I don't really. I'm trying to think of what else we. I mean, there's obviously tons and tons of stuff we have. We can cover e equals m c squared, sort of. I guess we can talk about length dilation now, can't we? That was. That oh, was right. that was trippy. That's that's a big one. Let's do the pole in the house thing. All right. So when you're moving fast, I forget why, but fuck. Um, length and mass actually change for some reason. <laughs> that we can't exactly explain, <laughs> but it does. So trust us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we can also. So basically, well, I guess we can start with length. Wow, I'm horrible. <laughs> God, I used to so, be so good at this game. A spaceship going coming towards the Earth at like 0.9 times the speed of light. Um, it'll be it'll actually travel a smaller distance. So so if there's someone off in like I forget why. Yeah. Uh, 
It's like if you saw someone holding a meter stick and running down the street, from your frame of reference, if they're going fast enough, it almost starts to blur a little bit and look like it's not going that fast anymore. So it's kind of like, I mean, that's a very small example of it, but, oh, oh, come at me. No, oh. how'd you get your shields back that quick? Damn it. Hold on, hold on, ready? Ah, oh. oh, I missed, god damn it. That one's so dirty, I had that. Those are the spawns I remember. That's the kind of... Get raped. Yeah, I, I, I understand. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, so if there was someone... No, at, no, that's a bad example for what we're talking about. Never mind. It's kind of advised. Oh. Alright, well, you can take it back again, because I kind of... Basically, if you're going faster, somebody who's looking at, watching you run, you're actually going to be a little... You're going to be thinner, lengthwise. Um... Which we don't have a reasoning for. But I forget why. Yeah, anyway, so let's say you have a four foot shed lengthwise, and you got two open doors on both sides, and then you're so you wanna and you have a five foot pole that you wanna fit into this four foot shed. So let's say you run 0 0.9 times the speed of light holding that pole. What's gonna happen? Oh shit! Come back here! I just <laughs> no. want to stab you. Stop that. Six shotted like a What's gonna happen is if you run the top Um if you run, your pole is now you you might be able to run point the speed, speed speed of light and actually shorten your pole so that it's <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that sounded funny. <laughs> you can shorten it down so it's actually four feet, which means it would fit in the shed, right? No. Because if you're running <laughs> that fast, from your frame of reference the shed is moving towards you at 0.9 times the speed of light, which actually means that the shed is going to be shortened, which means the shed is now three feet and your pole is still four feet, so it's not going to fit. But then, let's say you go to somebody else's frame of reference outside, oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, like well. someone looking at the shed and you running. So you are going to look to them, since you're going 0.9 times the speed of light, you're going to look shorter or whatever. So your pole is going to be smaller and the shed's still going to be the same size for them. Which means, to you, the pole will actually fit in the shed out if you're looking at them running. But to them, their pole is not going to fit in the shed. And you're both right. So the pole is both in the shed and not in the shed at the same exact time. And when more paradoxes. And then, it's not even a paradox, it's just like... Two things existing at once. Just like the light thing earlier. It's not really a paradox, though, because it, yeah, it, it can exist. Like, it's not like two contradictory things happening. Oh. Nice. Alright, see if I can get this spawn. Oh god, it's 24 24. You better not. Oh, that would have been so nice. Spawn somewhere else. Spawn killing would have been so perfect for that final kill. I'm not doing that. Alright. Alright. Yes, you are. Okay, that was a poor decision on my part. I'm, I've trapped myself. Oh, you're down? Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit. Yes! Oh, yes. No. Oh. <laughs> ah. I'm so good at Halo. <laughs> Woo! Damn it, that was a good game. Yeah, that was that was good. That was much harder than I thought it All would right, be. Alright, you're welcome for your awesome lesson on relativity. That is so hard to describe. <laughs> like that was that was that was challenging. Like if you've got nothing to do on a Saturday and it's Friday, isn't it? It's Friday. <laughs> if you've got nothing to do on a Friday and you want to bore yourself to death and uh, confuse yourself into pain, uh, I suggest trying one of these. Explain something really hard while you're one of you wanting someone in Halo, and give them some kind of handicap too, right. like having them try to explain it. All right. Thanks for watching. This has been Ro. Stig. Later.